Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. See, this is why you really can't hire these snowflakes to work at your job because the facility that you are trying to run is going to become a political hotbed for a bunch of nonsense. Because i got a couple clips I'd like you to look at. I don't know if this is supposed to be a female. Looks like it used to be a female trying to be a male. Don't really know. But she said, he said, whatever it is, the they, them, that says that they were at work and they were going to dump all this now because nobody's picking up. I guess they needed to talk to somebody. They need counseling. Call me, girl. I'll give you some real counseling. I'll give you some waking up to logic and common sense. But she said she was going to dump it right there because what these snowflakes did, they want attention. They need to be validated because why do you care what somebody else is saying? She says that she had this traumatic experience at work. You said, did a gunman come in? No. Did you have to work hard labor in like a some type of uh, uh, a mine or something like that? Were you like a coal miner or something? No, didn't do that. At work, one of the co-workers was not referring to him, her, whatever it is, as they and them. I use they and them pronouns. I use they and them pronouns. This is what you're dealing with. I tried calling friends. Nobody's picking up, so I just am going to dump this here. It's the middle of the day. I completely understand, but I just had a really harrowing experience at work. I have this one coworker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me. I've called her out every time she misgenders me, and she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes like they they i use they them pronouns and she got so defensive and i just started explaining to her like i'm sick and tired of the shit like you need to at least make an attempt and she popped off got upset got defensive what are you gonna do about it and I just now how are you gonna have a rational conversation well, the person who's acting like you, like you the supervisor, you come over there, you say, like, what's going on? <laughs> they didn't call me they and them. See, back in the day, if you had called supervisor over, it was like a disturbance in there. And you called the supervisor over and the supervisor said, what's the problem here? You, people are screaming and hollering. You said, she didn't refer to me as a they and a them. What was going to be your first response if this is 30, 40 years ago? Take your ass home until you, whatever the mental issues you got, you need to get that straight because this is not the place for it. This is the place where we come here to work, not to be social justice warriors. See, at work now, you got to be dealing with being activists at work because they'll try to sue you, too. This is why we're not hiring anybody with freaking purple hair or acting like this because you already know. I like to go look at their social media platform and see what they're posting on there. No, don't hire them because you ain't going to never be able to file. And then this is, what, this is what got me. He, him, they, that, them, that, whoever says that they called the supervisor in who's supposed to be like woke she says and they took it and he took their side he's supposed to be woke and the supervisor told them this is not the place for your political standpoint she was really offended then i'm sorry they were really offended then how does that even sound you are they and them he told the supervisor she told what are you anyway were you where were you born because it looked like this may have been born a female and trying to be a male that's what i'm getting from this and said that the 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 the, the, the male, the uh, the uh, the male, I guess supervisor, did not side with him. And I just said I'm gonna be really hurt and sad. Like that's all I can do about it. And the worst part is that at that point, my boss, who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe, positive environment for everybody, gangs up on me with her. And says, like, this is, Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. <laughs> and I was upset, rightfully so, but was t trying to take such a level-headed approach to it of, like, this is not a political statement. My identity is not a political statement. It's just my identity. All I'm asking you to do is respect that. And it the, real, re the real reason these people make posts like this is because they want attention. And I don't know what happened in your child life or whatever. But it's obvious that she needs some counseling. Now, I'll give you some free counseling. I won't even charge you for it. Because if you're talking to me, we can straighten this situation out real quick. Because this foolishness has to stop. This is madness. And then she goes on 
Because that wasn't good enough. Then she goes on to start calling people like transphobic. Transphobic. You born with a vagina thinking you can actually be a male. You born with a penis thinking you can be a female. It ain't just got nothing to do with just the outside components of a human body. It's the internal organs too that make you female or male. But these people are having meltdowns. The government is getting involved. Joe Biden invited him to the White House. She says this is transphobic. We have our own community. But guess what? We do too. We have our own community too. And it really is so within our own community <laughs> that people have the most rampant transphobia. I, the co-worker that refuses to use the correct pronouns for me claims to be bisexual and she stands up and goes, when I came out as bisexual, everybody was mad at me. It's like, then why are you mad at the trans kid? Like, what? You want to inflict that same pain onto me? Why? And in our community, in the common sense community, we don't do things like this. It's completely irrational. We don't get upset because nobody won't change the English dictionary. It'd be as crazy as me going in the bank saying, like, I'm, I self-identify as uh, being worth $200 billion. That's what I self-identify. And I start crying in the bank. They won't give me my $2 billion, $200 billion. They are, re they are misgendering my money. It's madness. See, they got to deal with emotions because logic and common sense does not work with these people. You don't come on here crying. She ain't really crying. It's pretending to be crying. Like, I might want to be victim. Please help me validate my... Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Jimmy. Well, you want to be Jimmy or Janet? Janet, I'm so sorry that you got misgendered. They're acting like they got real struggles. <laughs> There's people starving, having problems trying to feed their kids, their family, and they're crying about misgenderism. See, you can know when you got a society that's small rotten. They're complaining about changing the English language around while people are... Children are being molested. People are being attacked. People are losing their lives, losing limbs, and they're complaining about somebody misgendering them by not changing the English language. This is what society we've come to. Worrying about things like this when we got real problems out here. This is what they're talking about because this is when you know a society has spar riding these damn children. Because this is nothing to be crying about or upset about. Because you need mental health. Well, I'm going to give you some free counseling. Email me. Matter of fact, we can do a video conference. I'm going to give you some real counseling. And it's going to be the unadulterated truth. Not this sugary stuff. I don't know who didn't taught you the sugary stuff. The school system is trash now. Our society has become trash. And then we got a person who's in this, the, 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 the health department. One Rachel Levine. Saying that you need to give operations to children. That's child abuse. But he's or she or they or that or them are crying at a job. You came there to do a job, not to be a damn activist. He keep misgendering me. I finally scream. Imagine somebody screaming out. Because you're not calling them a they or them. It's plural. They or them means it's more than one of y'all. Hell is you talking about? I, I self-identify as the president of the United States, then, damn it. I'm crying because they won't let me in the White House to be the president. Stop it. You need to seek help. You need counseling. I mean, get help for that. You really do need to get help. It's absurd. You can't even hire these people now. Why even hire, Why would you hire this person? Because it's obviously going to give yourself more problems. It would be better just to be, uh, be behind and you can't get to certain uh, uh, projects then to hire some of these people. Because all day long you're going to be babysitting. A customer may misgender them. in. See, I'm they, them. Don't call me by this name I have on my name. Today. Usually people just call you by your name. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Janet. Do this. Hey, he. Hey, she. Do this. Well, she says, oh, my God, you misgender me. I'm going to die. Fainting. I need a fainting couch. About to faint on a couch. It's so frustrating because then my boss spins it around as like I'm the one who's making a scene and is being like, oh.